We have a vendor for that is not an objection. It's the truth. No matter what you sell, people are getting the job done without you. They're getting from point A to point B. So to loosen your prospect's grip on the status quo, you need to shine a light on a problem that your prospect might not know about with finesse. Here's what that might sound like. Imagine you are selling Uber in 2009 and your prospect says, we have a vendor for that, I'm using a taxi. You might simply say, oh, what's been your experience using a taxi in the city? And just stay there for a while. And then you're gonna poke the bear, ask a question related to a potential problem. Here's what that might sound like. What do you do during those situations when it's rush hour or raining and snowing and you have to be downtown at a specific time, but you can't get a taxi? And then do the hardest thing, shut the front door and listen. What you're doing is you're asking a question related to a potential problem. And what you typically hear when you poke the bear is your prospect pausing for a while because the question's a little difficult to answer and they scratch their head and think, hmm, I'm not sure, I guess I wait it out or I, I get stressed. And from there you've created an opening. You can simply presuppose that your prospect has heard of your solution because chances are they have. And that might sound like this. You've probably looked into Uber and one of two things might happen. They might say, well, I have looked into it. And then you could say, sounds like it didn't work out for you or sounds like the value wasn't there for you. Or they might say, what's Uber? And then you can simply give them a little tease of what it is. And that might sound like this. With Uber, you press a button and in 15 minutes, a Mercedes takes you to where you wanna go without you having to take out your wallet. And then shut your mouth and listen. It's not your job to fill your prospect's head with information. Your job is to draw it out of them.